Good day and welcome to Mission Control Houston. Today is a Thursday, November 6th, and this is Space Station Live. Here at Mission Control, the team of flight controllers is watching over uh, the International Space Station as it uh, orbits 250 miles above the surface of the planet, uh, watching over a new population on board the International Space Station of nine individuals. The first time we've had nine people on board the International Space Station at one time without a space shuttle presence since October 2009. That follows uh, last night's uh, launch of uh, three crew members from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. A launch going exactly on time at 1014 Intermediate. p.m. Central Time. Uh, and we had liftoff. Lift off equates to 10:14 a.m. Kazakhstan time. On a truly Olympic the uh, Soyuz launch vehicle and uh, crew of uh, uh, Commander Mikhail Turin and flight engineers Rick Mastrakio and Koichi Wakata uh, lifting off uh, with a specially emblazoned rocket and uh, protective cover on the space capsule. Uh, in honor of the upcoming 2014 uh, Winter Olympics rising uh, into the air somewhat like an inverted Olympic torch. Reporting the second stage engines are in great All systems shape. on the Soyuz spacecraft carrying the trio worked uh, flawlessly. Uh, and uh, they were able to dock to the International Space Station's Rosvet port at 4.27 a.m. this morning, central time over Germany. Three crew members, uh, Koichi Wakata. They displayed uh, one of uh, five different mascots selected for the Soichi, for, excuse me, the Sochi Winter Olympic Games of 2014. This is the polar bear. Uh, that was selected as one of those uh, and used as a microgravity indicator inside the Soyuz capsule. Now we can feel some G load, but we take it all right. And so we now have uh, three different Soyuz spacecraft uh, docked to the International Space Station. Uh, you can see the Soyuz 35 on the far end at the Zvezda service module is ro relocated there uh, to make room for the uh, newly arriving uh, spacecraft, uh, the Soyuz 37, which is there at the Rosvet module, and a third Soyuz uh, human-rated vehicle uh, on top of the space station facing away from the Earth at the Poisk module, uh, the Soyuz 36 spacecraft. Here's a look at uh, the nine crew members on board from uh, top left. Uh, we'll go across uh, Koichi Wakata of the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, Mikhail Turin uh, from the Russian Federal Space Agency, and Rick Mastrakio of NASA, uh, the three newly arrived crew members. Uh, to their right are uh, NASA's Mike Hopkins, uh, the Roscosmos's Oleg Kotov, and Sergei Rozansky, uh, and uh, uh, below uh, NASA's Karen Nyberg, uh, current commander of the International Space Station, Yuri Yoshikin, and European Space Agency astronaut and flight engineer Luca Parmitano. Uh, all nine individuals now on the International Space Station uh, getting used to a very crowded house as they continue uh, with uh, research activities and also acclimatizing the new uh, crew members to the uh, International Space Station environment. Today will be a, a fairly early end of the day for the crew after a busy overnight set of activities with the arrival of the new crew members uh, who were carrying an Olympic torch that are eventually will end up uh, returning home to Earth uh, later this weekend on Sunday with uh, your chicken Nyberg and Parmitano and then uh, complete uh, the uh, relay for the Winter Olympics uh, lighting the torch in Fish Stadium at Sochi, Russia in February. This crew will be going to bed a little bit early today after all the busy night of activities and arrivals. Uh, their sleep shift scheduled to begin officially at uh, uh, about uh, 2 p.m. Central Time.
newly arrived crew members uh, going through uh, emergency uh, drills and uh, familiarization uh, with their uh, onboard crew members, making sure that uh, they know where everything is in the event uh, of an unexpected emergency. And just generally uh, storing their gear and getting familiar with uh, everything on orbit. Crew members also had time uh, set aside for a meal uh, and to fill out a space headaches questionnaire before moving uh, into that pre-sleep period. All the crew members will be awakened on their regular schedule at midnight uh, central time tonight. In addition, uh, the crew also is continuing to make preparations for a spacewalk on Saturday. Uh, in which Ola Kotov and Sergei Rozanski will take that Olympic torch outside and display it uh, to document uh, its presence in the microgravity and, and vacuum environment of space before it returns home for the Olympic ceremonies. Coverage of that spacewalk will begin at 8 a.m. Central Time, 9 Eastern on Saturday. It's a planned six-hour spacewalk uh, to also do some uh, experiment work and assembly work outside the space station. We also have coming up uh, the Joint Crew News Conference. Uh, that'll be tomorrow uh, at, with uh, beginning at 7.50 a.m. Central, 8.50 a.m. Eastern. All nine crew members will participate and uh, all international partners will have an opportunity of 10 minutes for reporters to ask questions and get answers from the crew on orbit during that cr Joint Crew News Conference. Otherwise, everything working very well on board the International Space Station uh, as uh, the new crew members uh, become acclimated and uh, the uh, veteran crew members on board continue about their work to support research and operations aboard the International Space Station. This is Mission Control Houston.